it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a lovely New Year's. I did. I had a great time. I actually went to a wedding. Um, I normally don't do anything, so it was a lovely change to do something different. Excuse the voice because I have a little bit of a cold. Um, and today I'm not going to waffle on for too long. I'm just going to show you what I got for Christmas. This is one of those videos on YouTube that I love to watch. Another one of those ones. And I was scrolling through them all through the last couple of days to see what people got. Just for inspiration in case I wanted to buy anything because I don't need anything but I do be so inspired by what other people buy so I have some lovely pieces that I was so lucky to get so uh, in no order let's get cracking okay so one of the first pieces I got was actually a set of makeup bags and cases and they're from DKMY and they're silver metallic with a zip on the top nice size but they actually have three of them in the one so you have them for every occasion which I think was gorgeous I actually pointed these out when I was in the shop and I was with somebody and then I got them as a gift so how cute are they look oh my god they're just so fab that would be great in a little small really really small evening bag and that one then if you didn't want to bring too much with you obviously and then that's a good size one that's about the same size as my Louis Vuitton one loads of room with them and I haven't actually used them yet but they're so much fun, aren't they? The colours are just lovely. The little DKMY logo on the front. So I was so happy to get those. How cute would they look if you just had a if you had a, a shelf or somewhere to put them? I have no more room. So I can't even display them. But look. Oh, the next so thing cute. I got was um, a phone case. And um, this is one of the best gifts I got, to be honest. Um, and it's actually a Micro Kors one. I have the iPhone 6, not the Plus, just the normal one. And it fits on it perfect. Um, I think it was bought in the Michael Kors shop for me and it's a a leather, like the Safiano leather that's on my bags in a grey with the little silver hardware and it just clips on perfect. Really, really love that one. Now if you know me you know I'm a big lover of fake tans and one of my favourites is actually Vita Liberata. I use that, that's my main, my favourite one. I prefer it to Saint Tropez and everything else. It's a little bit pricey, it can be around 30 between 30 and 35 euro, depending on the store that you buy it in. Um, and I was lucky enough to get it gifted to me at Christmas. And I got actually the tinted self-tan mousse and the untinted self-tan lotion. Now, I have never tried this one before. Um, and they're both, that one is deep and that one is intense. I don't do anything by halves. I think if you're putting on fake tan, false tan, there's no point in having to put on four layers. You're better off just putting on one. So. I'm very lucky that this one really goes well with my skin and my skin tone and it it lasts ages. That's what I love about the Vita Liberata. Even though you're spending more than normal tan maybe, the likes of the Rimmel um, or any of the other ones. I know Saint Tropez is quite expensive but this one as I say is my favourite, my go-to when I buy a really really good tan that I want to last. And I generally wouldn't use it every day. You don't need to use it every day. This is the one I used when I went to um as I say I went to a wedding a couple of days ago and this is the the mousse and this is really really good. I popped it on the night before, rinsed it off. I was still really really dark but because of the event I was going to I just popped on a little bit more and if you can see it that's it's still there. I'm not snow white like I normally am but that's three days later so it actually really really last so if you're thinking of investing in a good fake tan that's the one I would recommend to everybody so I was so lucky to get that what I got was my holy grail of perfume and um, I have one and it's a little bit gone I've been using it a lot a lot a lot but because my friend knows me so well she got me a new bottle of my Tom Ford black orchid in a 50 ml so I'll have this for ages and ages and ages which is great because that's my, as if you know me, that's like my number one at the minute. It's my favourite, favourite perfume. So that was very exciting when I opened that. It's my bestie and she bought me loads. Spoiler Another one. present I got was a, a gorgeous hamper that somebody ha had made up for me. And it had a couple of items in it. And these are three of the items that were in it that I thought were so cute. This is the Laura Ashley Hand and Nail Cream, which I've never actually tried. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And the packaging of the look. Oh. That's one of those boxes that I'd be keeping. You know, like little inserts in your vanity unit, if we all do that. 
Well, I'm sad like that. If you know me, you know what I'm like. And look, isn't that just gorgeous? It's all about the packaging. So that's Laura Ashley Hand and Nail Cream with Shea Butter. It's lovely. So that was one of the items in the hamper. There was also this gorgeous mug. Sorry, I've just had coffee of it. Um, I have a thing for mugs. I don't know why. Starbucks. And if a mug looks pretty, I buy it. And this says, you may not be able to turn back the clock, but you can wind it up again. How cool. Oh, sometimes it's just the simple little things and I've been using it every day since I got it. So that was another thing in the hamper. And then there was this as well, which was a re-diffuser. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. This person knows me so well um, that you can reuse them. It was, I think it was called cold rain or something rain or winter rain. And oh, it's really strong, it's gorgeous. This detail of all this mosaic and then the little gold top. Oh, I just love all these little bits around my room or my bedroom or anything. So that was another item that was in the hamper. But how cute is that? It's like a little basket and they were all laid out. The next thing I got was one of my handbags. I got makeup bags and I got two handbags and this is one of them. I haven't actually used this one yet either. Talk about being spoiled. And it's a grey DKMY clutch slash crossbody slash shoulder bag and it's absolutely gorgeous lovely smell of the, the leather I still have the packaging and everything inside isn't that terrible I haven't even used it yet but I will and the person that bought it for me knows I will get so much use out of it and there's one little pocket along here and two over there on the side but it's just great I have a couple of these I have one in uh, like an orange for the summer and I think I have one very similar in black um, but look at the colour of it, it's just lovely. And I don't have anything in grey, so that's what I looked about. It. And again, you could have it as shoulder or it's extended there. The little zip pocket at the back. And you could actually lengthen it down if you wanted it. And as I said to you, you could have it as crossbody. And a lovely little charm. It's just so pretty. And a little DKMY logo on the front of it. It's gorgeous. This person knows me so well. I have a million and one bags, but I don't have many grey, so that's exactly what I need. Another thing I got was like a daily essentials, and I gave a hint to somebody that I needed one of these. And the hint was taken. And it's actually a new hair straightener, and it's the Babyliss. I actually had a Remington one before, and I think it was actually ruining my hair. And I don't use it every day, but maybe every second day or so and I just thought the, the ceramic plates might have been doing some damage. Anyway, I said, could I have a new one please? If anybody wants to buy me anything. And this one is absolutely brilliant. I'm not a lover of the GHDs insofar as because my hair is quite fine, I find it makes my hair a little bit greasy or a little bit limp. I think you've got really, really heavy curly hair. I think the GHDs are great or if you want to curl them. But for like every couple of day use on my hair, the GHDs Oh, it doesn't work for me at all. So I prefer to go for the likes of these ones. And I say this is a Babyliss. It's made very similar. It has the very slim plates. But it's absolutely brilliant. And I wouldn't say it costs as much as a GHD. So if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper and a really, really good straightener, that's a great one. And it's a brilliant present to get. I also got um, some gift cards or gift tokens um, for Brown Thomas, which I will be using. Um, and that's a, a store, a department store in Ireland. There's a couple of them, but we only have one really, really big one, and that's the best one, if you like all your designs, because that's where the Louis Vuitton, the Gucci, Chanel is. Um, it would probably be the equivalent to Harrods or Selfridges in the UK, or probably Neiman Marcus or Saks in the US. So this will be spent with great pleasure. And last... But not least was my holy grail bag. I'd done a, a reveal on this and it is oh, best Christmas present in the world. For any of us bag lovers. It's the Gucci Soho uh, chain shoulder tote bag. And that's a, a really good real colour of it. I'd done a, a reveal as I said but it had to do with different kind of lighting and it might have looked a little bit more orange. But that's it true to colour. It's that kind of tanny sort of brown oh it's just lovely I can still smell it I actually used it for the first time the other day and it was great but it rained so I panicked and I had a scarf with me and I popped a scarf over the bag how sad but I'm not getting it wet yet and I'm not ruining it 
Um, and you can see there the chain, as I said in the reveal, it's not gold and it's not silver. And that's a true colour there. It's a very, very pale gold, or it could be a very warm silver, if that makes sense. Um, and it holds a lot. I have a good few things in it today. And that was my Christmas present from my hubby. It's just gorgeous. As I say, I've ordered a base shape before. There's a good bit in that and you can see there's a little bit of... There's not much... I'm not losing too much shape to it, but I think the base shape will, will help it. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get that in another couple of days. So, Oh, I could look at it all day. I just love it. And I'll be using it today. That's most of what I got, um, everybody. That's I was very, very lucky. I would say I was spoilt rotten. And I was truly grateful for everything I got. Um, you all know I'm a bag lover, so I was delighted to get those too. So, uh, Thanks, everybody, for watching. I have a few more videos coming up in the, the next week. And um, it's sunny out today, so and it's nice and bright. So that's how I'm able to do a video um, without having to try and fix lights and everything. I much prefer to do them like this. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.